Hello crafty friends, today I want to share with you these rub-ons. They are the brand new designs, hot off the press from Topology. They are colourful florals, monochrome botanicals and animals. You also receive your little paddle pop stick that will help you to rub the stickers onto the surface. You will also be supplied with a piece of calico fabric. Each pack contains eight sheets of rub-on stickers, all different designs. So there is a huge variety. Now these rub-on stickers are not just for paper or fabric. There are many ways you can use them. I'm going to show you 10 ways that I've thought of. I will do the most common ones first, but stick around to see some other exciting ideas. We'll start with paper first. Working in my reference junk journal, I'm going to cut a wavy design on one of my pages. This is just to show you that you don't have to just rub on one sticker in the corner of a page. There are many ways you can create designs with the paper and with your rub-on stickers. Using a pencil mark first, we just make a wavy line and then we cut that out. You could also use an exacto knife if you prefer. And then I'm going to be working with the monochrome botanicals. You can see that each sheet, the botanicals are different and they're also different tones. You have like a sepia, a gray, a bluey gray. They're all a little different and there's a huge variety of designs. Very easy to use. You just choose the designs that you want to work with and then you cut them out. Each rub-on is on a clear background with a white backing. I have the link to the website in the description box below and also there is a lovely discount for you if you use my link and my discount code. Once you've chosen your designs and cut them out, you're going to peel off the back white paper, place your sticker in the location where you want it and then you use your little paddle pop stick and you rub gently but with some pressure over the entire sticker and then you can just peel off the transparent layer and the sticker stays behind. What I like about these as opposed to regular stickers, they don't have any shiny bits. Normally when you place a sticker down, there's some shininess left over and you can see the outline of the sticker. This leaves a very flat matte finish. With these monochrome ones, you could also add color if you like. Next up, we can also work with vellum for these rub-ons. I'm going to make a really, really quick pocket by cutting a piece of vellum and then folding it in half to make a double pocket. Usually I would stitch this on the sewing machine to close it, but now I'm just using a thin double-sided tape. You could also use a clear glue. And then I'm going to attach it to the journal again with the double-sided tape. Let's see what is in the colored floral pack. Each page has got a color theme. I see the beautiful blue hydrangeas there too, which are my favorites. For this one, I'm going to select this red rose with the whimsical leaves. I think this will look great on the vellum. The rub-on process is exactly the same. How beautiful does that look? And if you pop a tag behind that, how effective does that look? Another great way to use these rub-ons is with fabric. Like I said earlier, you do receive a piece of cotton calico with each order. What I love about this kind of fabric, this calico, is that it rips so well. All you need to do is make a little snip and then you pull it apart and it leaves a beautiful frayed edge. Let's open the animal pack and see what surprises are in there for us. All sorts of animals, big and small, some botanicals too, lots of butterflies, which are my favorite, some birds. And the one that caught my eye was this little rabbit, but he's a little too big for the piece of fabric I chose. So I'm going to use the toucan. These rub-ons have a really bold color 
and they're quite opaque so you don't actually lose any of the color intensity when you transfer it onto a surface. Peeling off the transparent layer is probably my favorite part. I'm going to attach this fabric to the tag. I'm going to just make a quick outline with my hand. This is just a tag I had already on my desk that I'm just using for demonstration purposes. And to adhere the fabric, I'm going to use double-sided tape. I do not have fabric glue and I find any other kind of wet glue does seep through the fabric and leave some marks. So I think double-sided tape works the best for me. I also found that you can use these rub-ons on glass. I have a teeny tiny little bottle with a cork, so I'm finding a small botanical that I'm going to add to the glass. This was a little finicky because everything is so small and it did need a little bit of extra rubbing with a pedal pop stick just to make the rub-on stick, but it adhered really, really well. I'm going to use this in a future project, so watch out for that. Let me show you how I'm going to finish this off. I'm then going to create a little paper funnel and I'm going to fill my little jar with iridescent glitter. To seal the cork so that it doesn't come out and everything falls out, I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue around the cork and then press it firmly into the jar. How cute does that look with a little rub-on flower on the front? Using a piece of hessian thread and a jump ring, I'm going to tie that around the neck of the bottle. The jump ring is to give me something to hang this little jar from. I'm then going to add a light bulb safety pin. And what a great way to attach it to something on your journal. We can also decorate buttons. Oh, a nice way to customize some buttons if you're going to use those in a craft project. Obviously, you'll need the smaller rub-on stickers for the small buttons, but you could also use a floral and cover multiple buttons with the same floral. So it'll be just more of a design. I really do love the way this ladybug looks on the button. And then a small turquoise butterfly. Now when you apply it, it might go over the holes of the button, but that doesn't matter. I'm just going to use my awl or you could use a needle to press through and make the holes again. And then I thought I'll try something totally different. So I thought I'd try a feather. I used a long slim design for this one. It is a poppy flower. I loved the bright red to contrast with the white. And again, working quite gently because the feather can separate in areas. Just work gently, but it actually worked out really, really well. And the rub-on adhered nicely. And then we can also use acetate. I'm going to make a really, really quick specimen window using strips of paper. This paper is also available from Topology. I cut it into strips and then fold it in half to make it easier when I'm adding it to the acetate. I'm then going to use just a glue stick and apply the glue to the paper and then bend it over the edge of the acetate, trim off the excess. I want to do this all the way around and that'll be a super quick specimen window. And then we can add our rub-on in the middle as the specimen. I have chosen some foliage just to fill up the window and this beautiful panda bear, which creates a really good contrast against the green. How cute is that? I had an acrylic keychain that I was going to use for another kind of project, but I thought I could try the rub-ons on this too. It's a two-piece keychain where you need to put an insert in the inside. So I'm using this music sheet paper, just cut your shape really, really quickly and place that in and then put the backing onto the keychain. And then on the front, we're going to put one of our rub-ons. I'm going to choose this little crab, 
I'm a Cancerian, Cancer the Crab, so I thought that was fitting. And again, it applies really, really well to acrylic. Now, do you know the packaging that your cereal comes in? Not the cardboard box, the inner layer that actually holds the cereal. Well, I have one of those. I've kept it trying to think of ways to use it. I've washed it and wiped out all the cereal and I've cut a long rectangle which I folded in half and I'm going to see if I can make something exciting with this. For my rub-ons, I'm choosing an underwater theme. I have a seahorse, a shell and a bubble. I have folded my piece of packaging in half and I'm applying the rub-ons to one half of this. I'm then going to take this while it's folded in half and sew with my sewing machine all the way around the open ends, leaving a small area open. In the open area, I'm going to pop in some color themed charms. I've got some glitter buttons and some little star buttons. And then I'm going to use a paper funnel again and add some silver star glitter and some turquoise heart glitter. Can you guess what this is going to be? A little shaker box. I'm going to sew up the remaining opening end and trim off the threads. I was going to fold the corners and make it into a tea bag style, but I left as is for this project. That'll look great in any journal. We can also use these rub-ons on wood. I have these wooden tags I found in a craft store and I'm going to add a strawberry and butterfly rub-on. Of course, you're not going to have 10 of these wooden tags in your journal. Just one is perfect to create some added interest and beautiful dimension. You could also paint this first, but I'm going directly onto the surface. A quick distressed edge all the way around to finish that off and then a hessian string through the hole as the tie. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and my 10 ideas of how to use rub-on stickers from Topology. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you found it inspiring. I would love if you subscribed to my channel and also hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Just a reminder, the links to Topology are in the description box below including a discount code for you to get a discount if you purchase anything from Topology. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy creating and I'll see you again soon. Bye.